Hi everyone, my name is Mole and welcome to CDO Robotics. So I wanted to introduce you here to uh, my little project. This is Munchie. Munchie is a wheeled delivery robot that I've built specifically for Halloween. The whole idea is to provide a unique experience to uh, people out trick-or-treating so that they can kind of have some fun with a little robot driving around, handing out some candy. I do have a background in mechanical engineering. I do have a background in robotics. I've worked in the drone industry. I've built a drone company uh, that provides drone delivery for big events outdoors. And uh, so far it's been going well, but now it's the off season and I really, really want to have the, have the opportunity to can kind of explore some new uh, robotics projects while sharing it with the world. And hopefully this channel is going to be uh, essentially that, that, that path by which I can do that. So hopefully you enjoy it. Enjoy the build. Enjoy the Munchie build. We'll go through some trials and tribulations and uh, uh, hopefully we'll succeed at the end. I don't know yet. It's three days to Halloween. So hopefully uh, it'll, it'll go well. We'll see. So Munchie needs to be able to do three specific things. The first one is it needs to be able to roll, down the, roll around the neighborhood without any issues. So no mechanical failures. Number two is it needs to be able to provide or convey a positive vibe. I want people to really be happy with this thing around and not, not be upset and kind of intimidated. It should be a friendly vibe. So you'll see how we'll convey that as well. And finally, uh, it needs to do the most important thing is hand out candy. The whole idea is to be able to hand out candy. So that breaks it down to three systems. The first system is the drive system. So the drive system is essentially this lower half right here where there's the uh, motors, the autopilot, the motor drivers and everything in between and also the, the power itself. So where the battery is going. That's a very important system. The next one is the actual interface, which goes up here. And the interface is essentially intended for uh, conveying that positive vibe. And you'll see, and I actually, you'll, you'll understand why there's a camera up here. And then finally, uh, it'll be the handout uh, system or the candy handing out system, which is underneath this lid right here. It, we'll go into that in the next video. It won't be this video. So enjoy, and let's go on to the first part. After hours of thinking, designing, drawing, and coming up with a very, very sophisticated concept, as you can see here, I think we're ready to move on to the CAD model. So essentially, Munchie is a rolling candy ATM. Surprisingly cute. Okay, let's get the building. Munchie's chassis is designed to be relatively lightweight, but my main focus is making it inexpensive. So we're going with plywood and anodized aluminum that I can find in my local hardware store. We've got some quarter inch quarter inch bolts uh, to go all the way around and fasten everything together. So hopefully that stays good. The wheels themselves are uh, wheels from a wheelbarrow, so they might slip. I need maybe I need to get, add some grip. We'll see later on. I might be alluding to something here. For the motors, we've got wheelbarrow wheels. We've got a sprocket and a chain, and then the chain is connected to the driving motors themselves, which are essentially just. Uh, go-kart motors or scooter motors and uh, they will operate on 24 volts they're relatively strong they should be able to carry a person so this needs to be enough for the system here i am assembling everything i mean it takes a little bit of work first of all we need to swap out the saw blade for something that i can actually cut uh, metal this is a woodworking saw blade so we need to get rid of that then we go in into cutting the actual aluminum parts uh, you see I've got a bunch of uh, 3 quarter inch square tubing with 1 16th inch thickness, which I picked up over at the Home Depot nearby. We cut through all of that, then we start piercing the holes. Uh, we're drilling holes uh, in relative magnitudes and relative intervals just to make sure that we have enough spacing for the quarter inch screws uh, so that we can fasten the panels tightly onto the frame. So looking at the assembly for each wheel, we've got the 3D printed parts for the hub and with a little sleight of hand, we're going to go into building each of the wheels uh, for four wheels in total. Enjoy.
With the wheels done, we're going to go into mounting the wheels onto the robot itself on the frame or the chassis in this case. So here we can see that we're going and putting in a half inch uh, threaded rods for the axles themselves and then we mount each of the wheels separately. Okay, so it's obvious with the drive test, we can see that it's been slipping. So with the slippage, we're gonna need to look at introducing some new grip. I looked around on the internet to see what some options were, and I found that spray on rubber, so liquid rubber, like Flex Seal, and adding some uh, actual grip tape uh, helps. So I've added grip tape and I've added some Flex Seal, let it dry for a bit, and I'll see you in a bit, most likely in a, in a day. All right, now that everything's been mounted, let's go for a second test run. It's dark right now getting dark a lot earlier. I'm gonna go out, we'll add some lights on top and we'll give it a shot and see how it does around the neighborhood. Now that we've got the driving system working, let's start focusing on the actual software or the interface system. To get started, we're going to use a checkered board pattern, uh, which is usually a requirement when you're using a fisheye lens. You need to do essentially a calibration of the camera to be able to uh, correct for that distortion in the fisheye lens. And unfortunately, the camera I have does, a fish, does have a fisheye lens, or not fisheye, but wide angle lens. And in this case, uh, we're using a checkerboard uh, pattern that's provided by OpenCV. And we are just taking about 15 pictures using a keyboard trigger on the camera, just a basic Python script. And it'll capture these uh, 15 images. It'll recognize them as you will see in the feed here. And it'll store uh, these images in a file locally. And we'll reference that in our main script as uh, the source for the correction factor. This is really straightforward. You essentially have a Python script that leverages uh, NumPy, Pygame, and OpenCV to generate the uh, animation of the eyes blinking using basic shapes and also OpenCV to be able to uh, use the webcam that's attached to the that's in Nano uh, to be able to uh, recognize faces using the embedded the library that's provided and essentially track faces. Through that, we're able to uh, look at where and what, which quadrant of the uh, camera's feed uh, the face is, and it will only track one face at a time based on the uh, largest face available. And with that, it will point a smaller circle within the eyes uh, relative to the bigger circle in that specific quadrant using uh, basic differential, uh, non differential equations, but just basic geometry. And uh, with that, you get uh, something that looks like eyes that track an individual as they move. And you can see here that the eyes can see me uh, moving left and right, and uh, the camera is capable of tracking me relatively well. As you saw there, I had a Jetson Nano on the, screen, on the, on the uh, table there. That's what's going to go into the uh, robot itself, onto Munchie. So let's have a look on how it looks like on Munchie. Here we have the uh, screen mounted on the robot superficially right now, not very much embedded. You'll see it later, it looks a little better. But the camera on top and the jets and that on top, we're just doing a test to see if the eyes track. And as you can see, the eyes are tracking. They're picking up my face. Sorry for the glare there. Just the hot uh, lights are really bright. And yeah, see, the munchie's looking at me wherever I move and uh, he's uh, updating, which uh, is great. I'm really happy. So we'll be ready to test it out entirely on the uh, munchie uh, very soon. Let's just mount it all together. Hey, 
you looking around? You're just looking around. Hi. Hi, <laughs> you <Lucy>. see? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Can I go a little down? Thank you, Martha. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I was hoping to get some more footage of uh, Munchie out on the road, but unfortunately it's raining really hard outside. So hopefully it doesn't rain uh, on Halloween day, but who, who knows, we got uh, three days to go. That being said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe, give me some feedback. This is my first video. Um, I have never posted like this uh, in the past or in my life. so. I really want uh, to really gauge uh, what you guys think and what you would like to see. Uh, I have a lot of projects in my mind. I really want to execute those and show them to you. So uh, hopefully uh, you'll enjoy. This is part one. There's going to be a part two coming out after Halloween, maybe a day after. Once I've got some opportunity to capture the footage of uh, being around uh, trick-or-treaters and having Munchie interact with them. So thank you very much. Have a great day and see you in the next video.